What's going on, killers? Noob here. Back at it again. So, I have been working through, like, overdue maintenance plans for a long time now. Um, I got here uh, last July, um, and then took my permissive and all that, and schools, et cetera, et cetera. So, I've been really biding my time waiting for this specific um, this specific update uh, since I've known that it's been coming out. So this is changing and deleting maintenance plans. So I've got my two here. Um, they are overdue. So we are going to change them. Um, I would say uncheck exclude inactive just because you want them to populate and that way you can get rid of them. Um, I don't, I'm still unsure why you would make one inactive. Maybe if like you were laterally transferring it and you just decided to put it on hold. Uh, but I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. So we're going to hit execute. If the system crashes or whatever during this video, I'm sorry. I'll probably have to make it again. Um, VPN is pretty beat up right now. So right now you can see that it has two notifications on two of these and they are a year and some change, a year and a half overdue right now. So these have notifications against them. So if you reschedule these those notifications will still be present um, it doesn't it doesn't just get rid of them so we're gonna highlight this um, real quick well we can go through this because I'm gonna end up deleting them anyways um, you can click reschedule and it only goes back you can only reschedule 365 days so the whole biennial U.S. Army Reserve side, uh, nope, you can't do it. If you were going to do that, you would delete these and then just go straight into recreating new ones. So this should say, just like the creation, it should say last serviced um, date because that way when you create these, you can create it based off of the last time that it had a service. Uh, we're going to do April 1st. Uh, if you do 2020, it will not populate until 2021. Um, if you are doing 2019, it will populate this year, uh, depending on when you want it set up. So, like, if I were to do 2019, then in two days or whatever... Uh, this one would pop up and basically say, hey, uh, the notification is ready to go. So I'm just going to leave it here as this. You can click calculate and it's going to tell you when the new plan date is. Um, so keep in mind, this goes back to the tolerances when we were creating them. This is the middle point. This is the date that it starts, essentially. But you can start it early and then complete it early, blah, blah, blah whatever that's why you have tolerances so we're gonna hit update schedule from date must be before today's date oh, oh. okay let's just go three then What is? Okay, so it won't actually let you cast them in advance either, apparently. So that says the notifications are updated. I wonder if it actually updated these notifications. So we're gonna hit refresh. Now they're open. They have 300 days uh, until they are planned. Oh, snap. And it got rid of the notifications. Well, looky there. So the only downside to this is that it... Um, 
uh, brain fart. The only downside is that uh, it only goes out 365 days. So you basically just created a cycle or a rescheduled maintenance plan, but it's only annual. It's not biennial. So it's good to know. The other thing that I noticed when I did this prior to is when there was notifications there and I highlighted these and I clicked delete, um, there was an existing notification number and when I hit delete, it deleted like seven of them and if there was a notification open, it, it I, I wasn't tracking the notification number itself so I don't know if there was like three open or two open because it rolled so long like if it rolled more than a year so one was overdue and then it created another notification so when I hit delete the line still stayed there but then I highlighted them again I hit delete again and then uh, I think the third time I did it they all deleted completely um, and then the notifications column right here was completely empty so you yeah, highlight these um, I, don't, I don't know what that is. Uh, I think this is where you can add the remarks in for your maintenance plans, like on like the Equist, perhaps. But we're gonna hit delete, deactivate I, again, deactivate, reactivate. Uh, I think maybe lateral transfer is the only time I would use it, but I would just delete them outright because the new unit that picks them up. Uh, is either going to delete them or they're going to, yeah, they're probably going to either delete them or reschedule them to the ones that they already have if there's multiples like these. So we're going to hit delete uh, the set, set deletion flag. That goes for work orders and notifications as well. Same terminology uh, to basically delete. So you highlight, it will pop up and tell you these were deleted. So you, okay. And then we go up. We hit refresh, and then these change to deleted. Now, when you go back, these will be gone. Uh, refresh. So your admin deadline should be gone. There we go. Uh, you can click scheduled services. So they're clean, there's nothing there. You can click notifications. Do all nothing so sweet. Uh, this wipes completely no, all the notifications and everything from the maintenance plans, uh, it nukes them, so that's pretty slick. So then you just go back in and you create it as usual. So, um, if there's any questions, let me know. Uh, I'm still messing around with this because, as you saw, like there are some areas where it, it, it doesn't. I, I don't know, you know, but it comes with playing with the territory and, and messing around with the system to try and figure out what what capabilities they built into it because, you know, we do all the self-training. So, <laughs> so uh, if there's any questions, comments, concerns, let me know, uh, and I will address them and get back to you. All right, peace out. Stay safe.